Hi everyone, Stu Pinesbridge OT here again with another OT activity from home. Uh, today I hope we'll have fun with this one. We're going to make musical instruments. And again, keeping with my theme uh, from the previous videos, it's going to be using things you find at home. Um, I found everything I need for this at home, um, either in my recycle bin or my pantry or in, in storage. You know, anywhere you'll find it. So. So the type of things I use for this are a little shoe bin, you could use a little storage container, you could use uh, um, shoe boxes if you have them, you know, even those covered salad containers I use with the planting activity, you could use those. But I'm going to use this bin here uh, for making noise. Simple again, same thing again, you know, we find these bottle caps in uh, my recycle bin. Different types of bottle caps you can use for making noise. You could use uh, coins, you know, pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, uh, even batteries you're going to discard. And uh, also for, you'll see later, we'll use, a, we need rubber bands. We got, you know, so we, cups, Rice Krispies containers, anything you could use. Uh, I used an old cookie uh, box that we could put, we could take the noise making items, whichever ones you want to take, the bottle. Caps, a little the chain, the batteries. And that's simple. You, just, you know, do that. But we want to get a little more intricate. Uh, we can take. What I like about this activity is it uses such different types of grasp and reach. Um, what we'll take, we could take like a cup, depending on which one you use, which is more of a cylindrical kind of grasp where your fingers, are, you know, around your hand. And uh, this one's simple. You could take your noise making objects, pick them up again. Good promotion of different types of grass, whether it's to pick up the coins, which is more of a fine motor, finger to finger, pad to pad kind of grass, or the bigger, um, the bitter bo bigger bottle cap, and just toss them in. Have them toss them in. Um, one other way you can do it, I'll bring it down and show you. Uh, for your children who have a little more difficulty picking them up, maybe put them at the edge and, and prompt them or help them to slide them from the edge of the table into the cup. So you can do it that way too. Um, anyway, any any skill level this is good for. And then once you have them in the cup, you can take your roll of tape and cut off some pieces. Put pieces here. Just take them, put them over the top of the cup. And nice push to the edge there. So. It's Get that cup nice and covered. And run it over the edge. Definitely run it over the edge to make sure it'll keep everything in. And get a little more little spot here on the end that needs to be covered up. So we cover it up. And then boom, you got it. Make it shake it up nice and good. Have fun with it. Shake it up, make a lot of noise, have fun. If it's a blank cup, you can put stickers on it, you know, paint the type object, really have fun with this. Uh, another act, another instrument I was uh, going to show you how to make is we can make our own little mini guitar here. Again, household items, shoebox, storage container. Um, and what we're going to do, I took rubber bands and we're going to take our rubber bands and we're going to slide them on. Now for this, it's a great... By uh, what, we, what we call bilateral manual coordination, which is both hands working together to slide it on, if your child is able to do that and slide it on there nice and good. Or let me give you a little better look at what I'm doing here. You know, have them do that. Now, if they're not able to do that, maybe you grab one end, they grab the other end, and you guys work together in tandem. Pull it on. And even if they're able to not even to reach and grasp it, just take it, slide it right over their fingers, make sure you get it over there, and then you have the other end, and they're helping you as you put it on. You know, many different ways to do it. We slide those pieces on, we make our nice guitar strings here, you know, out of the rubber bands, and make some nice, really great sensory activity. They get that tactile input. The, the auditory input, you know, great, fun type activity like that. And there, we got our guitar strings, you know, and have them string them. Now, and then we could take it to another level 
to make it into a two-handed activity. You take your paper towel roll, the empty one. Those are always great, right? We always have a lot of them these days. And you put it on the end. See, I already have some of the tape on, but I'll show you. You can put more tape on just to make sure it stays. See, we, we get it up to that end nice and good and straight. I think it needs a little bit more tape to make it stay permanently. We take we take another piece of tape up to the bottom here. And we put it on, get it, make sure it's on nice and good, they'll stay. And yeah, and we got ourselves two handed guitar here. So they can use a second hand now. You can have fun with it. Decorate the end here, put stickers on it, color it. Um, maybe even cut little holes in the front of it to slide their finger to slide their hands in so they can really grip it good. And it becomes a good two-handed activity, holding it with one hand, stringing with the other hand. Um, again, for all, all um, ability levels, give them as much help as they need. You know, let's promote independence. But if they need the help, do it, definitely. And again, I hope everyone's doing great at home. I hope you really have fun with this and make lots of good, fun noise. And stay healthy. And hopefully we'll see you soon, okay? Have a great day.